What's up guys, it's Dwayne from mountainbuck.com. Join me on the hunt for the best hunting products. And guys, today I'm checking out the all new Spy Point Flex S cellular trail camera. I did a preview video of this way back in January. The time has finally come and it is here. And we're gonna check this thing out. This camera shoots 36 megapixel photos, 1080p videos. It has on-demand photos and videos. Plus it has that really sweet integrated solar panel. I'm gonna do a full review of this thing. And by the way guys, if you're interested in the latest and greatest trail cameras, hit that little subscribe button down there because I do this kind of stuff all the time. Now let's get in this box. Here we have it right out of the box, guys, and you can see that nice solar panel on there taking up the entire width of the camera. And guys, in my opinion, the entire purpose of these cellular trail cameras is to set them up out in the woods and then never have to mess with them again. You don't have to walk out there, get your scent all over the place. You don't have to pull the SD cards because you're getting the photos and videos right to the app on your phone. And now with this solar panel, you'll never have to get out there and change the battery. So I'm real excited to see how this is going to work out. Uh, right around here on the back, we do have the thread mount if you want to mount it that way. We also have right here a little slot, a little plug if you want to plug in an external battery or an additional solar panel. Let's open this guy up. Okay, we have a slot for a micro SD card right in here. We also have some basic functionality right across the bottom. And we also have a tray for eight AA batteries, but I really don't think you're gonna need these. I think this solar panel is gonna be sufficient enough to power this. We'll definitely find out. Here we have our cellular antenna, and this is gonna jump on whatever network is best in your area. It's a dual SIM. So this is gonna jump on whatever network is best, AT&T or Verizon, whichever signal is stronger. Of course, we have our strap for the tree, a little Spy Point Flex S quick start guide here. And we have a little power cable to USB port in here. What we're gonna do there is just pop that into the side here, get this rechargeable battery charged up so we can check the settings. It's real easy to activate your Flex S. Just open the app and click that little plus sign at the lower part of your screen. Select your device model, scan the QR code on the door of your trail camera and activate. It will boot up here and this is where you can hold down that format button until it blinks green to format the SD card. Here's where you can rename your device. I started with instant operation mode, which as you can see will decrease your battery life. You can choose from photo, video, time-lapse or time-lapse plus mode. Let's start with photos for now. We're gonna crank that photo resolution all the way up. For photo transmission, I went with the each detection option, although they do let you know that that will have a significant impact on the battery. Don't forget to hit that save button and you're all set. Just a quick note here, I did go in and change some of those settings after a few days of operation to help preserve the battery life. After a few days of use, my battery was at 59%. So I went with the standard operation mode and switched over to a 12 times a day sync frequency. All right, our micro SD card is formatted. Our settings are right where we want them. Let's get the Flex S outside and run some tests. It is first thing in the morning and I charged the Flex S up overnight for about 12 hours, which is the recommended charge time to initially charge the batteries. I have it mounted to the tree and I'm ready to do my trigger speed analysis. Now the Flex S has a 0.3 second trigger, which is a very fast trigger. And what I do for this test is I have a cone set up about 10 yards back there. I'm gonna run right by and see how long it takes that camera to pick me up. Let's see how it performs. Now it's time for our detection range test and the Flex S here has a 100 foot detection range. So how I do this test is I have four cones set up at varying distances, one at 10 yards, then 20, then 30 yards, and finally I put one all the way out at 33 yards right at the very edge of this camera's detection range. I'm gonna walk by each one at a nice leisurely pace and see how far out this camera's gonna catch me.
All right, our trigger speed test and our detection range tests are all set. Let's check the footage and see how the Flex S performed. Here you can see the camera caught me right at about mid-frame with that 0.3 second trigger. For the range detection test, it caught me early in each shot and at every single marker all the way out to 33 yards. It definitely lives up to its 100 foot detection range. Here's an example of the daytime image quality. And here's the HD quality you get when you request an HD download. That 36 megapixel HD photo is looking real nice and sharp. I went ahead and blew up both images, the regular and the HD, so you can get a good understanding of the difference between the two, and you can see how much more detail is in that HD photo. Here's the nighttime image quality. And again, here's the HD version. Here we have the side-by-side -side comparison with both images enlarged, so you can see the difference between the regular photo and the HD photo. Here's the three image animated GIF type preview you get in video mode. This will help you decide if you want to request the full video. Here's the daytime video quality you get with the 15 second HD video download. Let's play another clip here and listen to the audio you get with this camera. And here's the nighttime video quality you get with the HD request and download. These are the infrared lights that the Flex S is going to give off for its nighttime shots and videos. This camera also has a nice on-demand feature where you can request a photo or video from your hunting spot and get it 25 to 30 seconds later. Let's talk about battery life here for a second. I started out really aggressive with the settings due to that solar panel. I started out with the instant operation mode and the frequency transmission set at each detection. After a few days, I realized I needed to dial it back to standard operation and sync frequency at 12 times a day to preserve that battery. Over my test period, the Flex S took a total of 213 images, including 36 15 second videos, and the battery life is currently at 45% running solely off the solar panel. So there we have it guys, the new Spy Point Flex S cellular trail camera. That solar panel on there definitely helps with the battery life. Once you have those settings dialed in, this camera takes really nice 36 megapixel photos and HD videos, and it's really easy to use with that app. You can also unlock additional features within the app by joining the Insiders Club. As always, the links you guys we talk about are in the description below. Guys, get yourself some killer mountain buck gear. Do me a favor, hook me up and hit subscribe. Thank you guys so much for hanging out, and we'll see you on the next one.